Hey everybody, I'd like to welcome you back. This is Pastor Caleb here with the Believer's Church of Madeira. And I got another truth for you guys, answering another question. And what we're doing here in this video series, it's called Knowing the Truth. What we're doing is, is we're diving into the simple truths in the Word of God. And we're going deeper and setting a foundation and growing off of that foundation in just the simple truths in the Word of God. And we're finding out the promises God has for us, such as healing, provision, protection, all those kinds of things. We're finding scriptures and we're diving into just the simple truths that the Bible has for us. So today's truth that we're going into, and I get, I'd like to say it like this, I guess. Uh, the question that we're answering today that some people have is, how do I grow in my faith now that I'm a born-again believer? Okay, And I hear a lot of people give different answers all the time, such as, Pray and ask God for more faith or or just be a good Christian and you'll have more faith or do this or do that. Um, but there's only really one thing the Bible talks about here. And it is very simple, very sweet, very short, straight to the point. And it's found right here. And like I said, Romans chapter 10, verse 17, it says this. Now, faith comes by hearing and it comes by hearing the word of God. Okay, so very short, very sweet, very simple. How do I grow on my faith? It says right here, very, very uh, easy to understand. It says that you have to hear the word of God. Now, that doesn't mean just listen to the word of God. There's a difference between listening to something and hearing something. When you listen to it, it's just like when you play your, you know, your music in your earbuds or you're listening to something. Uh, you know, you could be listening to something off in the distance, but are you really hearing it, understanding it, grabbing a hold of it, and receiving it? That's what the Bible's talking about right here. It says your faith can only grow, and faith only comes and, and gets stronger by you hearing and receiving the word of God and getting it on the inside of you. So that's part of the reason why we're doing this video series is we're going to the simple things where our faith can be built up and we can be stronger in our trust in God. So our faith is built off of the word of God. The Bible says right here that your faith only grows by hearing the word of God. Okay. Now, the second portion of scripture that I wanted us to quickly look at was found in Romans chapter 12 about a page or two over and it's found in verse two and we're going to talk and explain a little bit because in last video we talked about us becoming a new creation on the inside and i feel like it's important for us to cover this really quickly in this video and i feel like a lot of people might have questions about well caleb or, or pastor or whoever you're talking to maybe you have a question and you're saying, well, that's great and all. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, I'm a new creature in Christ on the inside. But what about the outside? How do I change my mental thinking? How do I change my habits? How do I change those things? I understand God has forgiven me and given me a new slate on the inside. But on the inside of my head, I still don't understand. And I still feel like I'm living in a worldly sinful pattern. Here's where we're going to answer that question. And it ties along with growing in your faith and hearing the word of God. So here in Romans chapter 12, uh, we'll start in verse 1. It says this, Therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, I urge you to present your bodies. Now, that doesn't say your spirit. Remember how we covered that in last video. If you, if you don't understand what's going on right now, check out our last video. It'll give you some more background. But it says, I urge you to present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy which that word holy means to just be set apart set apart from the world and pleasing to god this is your spiritual worship verse two now this is where it goes into our faith and renewing our mind do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may discern what is the good pleasing and perfect will of god now what's the will of god you find it right here in the word of god okay so what it's talking about here is like it says in romans chapter 10 what we just read your faith grows by you not only listening to but receiving the word of god and living the word of god in your life okay so here in romans chapter 12 it's going deeper and it's saying that you are now a new creature on the inside, right? 2 Corinthians 5, 17, behold, new things have become new, old things have passed away, okay? That's on the inside. That's Christ saving you. Now, 
your mind is a whole nother, your soul is a whole nother realm that we operate in. So here's the truth for today. Okay, here it is. When you hear God's word and receive God's word, what it will actually do is it will first, it'll grow your faith to where you'll begin to actually trust God more and more. The more you hear the word, not just listen to it, but hear it and receive it. Okay, that'll happen. But then the second thing, which is awesome, is it says right here in Romans 12, your mind will now begin to be transformed or another word they use is renewed. In other words, your mind has old ways, worldly ways, sinful ways of thinking, such as lying, lust, uh, greed, um, de deceitful, all of these things that are of the world, right? You've been trained in this way to think that way, act that way, talk that way, because that's all controlled by your mind through your decisions, right? All of those things. So what God is saying right here is that if you get in the will of God, you get in the word of God, you read the word, you hear the word, and the more you receive it, you'll grow in your relationship with God and your faith with God and your trust. And then also what's cool is your mind, the thing that's not fully saved yet, is by reading the word of God, that's what renews it, that's what retrains it, that's what changes your ways of thinking. Because what happens is, is you'll get the truth of God on the inside of your head and on the inside of your spirit by hearing it. And then what happens is, is your brain will then to uh, start thinking about the truth. And then the truth, like we read in the very first video, then that's when the truth will begin to set you free from the world. Okay, so you get born again, you get saved, you get all that. And now it's time to start growing and renewing because see, you're saved and born again on the inside. But remember, we talked about your soul, your mind, your will, your emotions. Those things now need to be saved. And the only way for that to happen is for you to get in the word of God, hear the word of God, listen to teachings, learn, read books, read the Bible, get into it. The more truth you get, the more you begin to be renewed and transformed in your mind, okay? I hope this blesses you guys, and I hope it encourages you. Again, in one of these corners, you'll be able to see, uh, you can tap on it if you're on YouTube, and you'll be able to tap on that and be able to watch uh, more of our videos that we've posted. Also in one of the corners, I think it's this one, <laughs> you can click on our YouTube page and subscribe to it. Again, if you're on YouTube or on Facebook, you can go on there and find us on YouTube. Follow us, follow all of our pages so you can get more of the truth on the inside of you and share this with as many people as you possibly can, especially new believers, because we want to get the word in them and get the word in us so we can grow in our faith. Anyways, God bless you guys. I'll see you again on the next video.